Hello, I'm Michael Rice and I've lived in Japan over 30 years. And for two weeks every year, I think this is the most beautiful place in the entire country. This is Suzuka Forest Garden. It's in Mie Prefecture, Suzuka City, which is famous for the Suzuka F1 circuit. And this place is a real treat. Let's go take a look. Wow. This is really breathtaking when you, when you walk out here and you see these plum blossoms. And these are not just any plum blossoms. They're, they are shidare ume, which are the kind that go down. And these are the kureha style. And so the kureha style is very unique for plum blossoms. And some important Japanese you need to know is that plums or plum blossoms are called ume. And so these are ume, ume trees. This is called Ten no ryu. And so the kanji for this means the dragon from heaven. And so this is the dragon from heaven coming down. And it's a wonderful example that has over a hundred year history. And it's not from this place. It was taken from another part of Japan because it was such an amazing tree. So they made this collection here. And so let's take a look at this. So there are about 42 kinds of shidare ume, shidare plum trees. And this kureha style is known as being one of the most ancient and also the most beautiful. And so you can see that in full bloom, the flowers are multi-layered and they have a little white around the edge of the flower. And so these are considered to be some of the most beautiful plum blossoms. And this is maybe the oldest tree in Japan that's in such a fine condition. And another symbol of this park is chi no ryu. And so chi no ryu means the dragon from the earth. And so we have the dragon from heaven and the dragon coming up from the earth. And so this is also another beautiful example of the kureha shidare ume or plum blossom tree. Wow, really amazing. And it'll be even more amazing in a few days. So like I said before, these only bloom for about two weeks and we're at the early stages where still the ground is not covered. So throughout the coming days, they will bloom and become more and more beautiful. And so it's such an amazing time. And one of my favorite things is the smell. The scent of these plum blossoms is really amazing. So let's look around the park. This is the high point of Suzuka Forest Garden, where you can really see an overview of the 200 plus plum trees here. And in the far distance, you can see the mountains that are snow capped. And, you know, until a few weeks ago, there was snow here too. So this is really a time when Japanese are so happy for the cold, harsh winter to be over and for the flowers to be blooming. So in designing this park, they use a technique called shakke, which means borrowing the view from the outer environment. And so they did not make these mountains, but they utilized these mountains to give a beautiful view where you can see nothing man-made in the shot. And so it's wonderful to see the snow-capped mountains with the symbol of spring blooming in front of them. So take a look at what this is like at the peak of the plum blossom. And one thing I really love about this park is the variety. So this is another wonderful example of the kureha shidare 
ume or plum blossom tree. And this is the main type that they've uh, that they brought together here because these are so rare and so beautiful. But it's not only these trees. You can see all over the park many other incredible examples. So for example, this type where it's not shidare with it coming down, the branches are going up and it's not pink flowers, it's white flowers with the branches going towards the sky. And this one looks really happy and playful. It's like confetti here. So with these kind of greenish, whitish blossoms. This is a wonderful tree here. And so you can see throughout the park, many different types of trees. Wow. These kureha shidare are very beautiful. And this lane is filled with many different shidare ume, shidare plum blossoms. And there are two very important reasons that this Suzuka forest garden was produced. And one is because these are actually very difficult to care for. You don't just let them grow, they have to be pruned meticulously. And it's really an art form. And so it's really an art that's taking place to make these so beautiful and to do it for a you know, hundred years or more for one tree. And that art form was being lost in Japan. So these trees were brought from all over the country. And so they found some of the most beautiful examples and they brought them together in one place so that the most skilled plum blossom artisans can work on them in one location. And more importantly, so they can teach the next generation how to do this wonderful art. So the techniques they use to preserve and do this ume art, this art of the plum blossom, is really amazing. So one technique I want to tell you about is ishoku. Ishoku means to move the trees. And so there are various kinds of ishoku. So, so that some of the trees have been raised and moved to turn around so that the, the sunlight hits them differently, so that the tree will, will not go in one direction. So it, it, will, it will be going exactly the way they want it to. And so they use moving the trees as a way to make them shape in a certain way. And another reason they do moving of the trees is to move from one place to another, maybe to get more sunlight, or maybe because the tree has outgrown the spot it's in and to move it to another spot. So actually you can see a, a, a video of two months ago when one of these trees was being moved to a different location. And it's really amazing the tree is raised into the air and, and taken different places. And in fact, many of these trees were moved from other places in Japan to this very important Suzuka forest garden. So one of the final parts of the moving is putting it into the soil. So they build up the soil to the right height that they want, and then they put something very important in the soil. So Akatsuka Gardens is uh, the company in charge of this, and they have developed a special FFC ace F and FFC bark. And these two things are put into the soil to make any plant grow better but it works with these plum trees as well as any plant in the world. And so that's something that makes the trees here so beautiful. And one other thing that makes the trees here so beautiful, I think I mentioned before, this is a work of art. And so they prune these trees in a special way to make them the shape that they are. The artist in pruning them, he thinks about how he wants it to look this spring, but not only this spring, he thinks of the springs in the future, five years from now, 10 years from now, maybe a hundred years from now, how he wants this tree to grow and blossom. And so really every tree here, each specimen is a work of art. So walking around this forest garden is like walking around an art museum and viewing each artisan's fruits of their labor. So one thing you should know is that this is made by the Akatsuka company that has many incredible projects around the world having to do with gardening and plants. And so this of course is the Suzuka Forest Garden, but also overseas in the island of Hawaii, they have gardens as well as Thailand and Brazil. And just here in Mie Prefecture, they also have the Red Hill, Hisanomori, 
and the Akatsuka Shakunage Garden. And so they have many projects and many beautiful places to see. So these are just some examples. This is the most beautiful place to be in March. And, but throughout the year, they have these beautiful gardens that you can visit. And they have examples such as these Christmas rose here. This is an original Akatsuka variety of flower. And so they develop their own original flowers. For example, uh, the 2020 Olympics in the summer, they have these giant Titan bicus. It's like a kind of hibiscus flower that was beautiful around the Olympic sites in Japan. And so they really do a lot. And one other important thing that you should not miss if you come here is this place at night because they have lights and they do lighting up and the, the plum blossoms just glow in the night. It's a totally different, absolutely unique experience. So don't miss this place at night. So welcome to Suzuka Forest Garden at night. Isn't this amazing? It looks so different when it's lit up like this. The pinks are so bright and, you know, you know, this morning it didn't look like there were so many blooms and blossoms, but now you can really see them. So let's go up to the top and see what the view looks like from up there. Wow. It's so different at night. It's, it's a totally unique experience. If you come in the day, you also have to come at night. You have to see both. It's incredible. So here's what it looks like from the top. Oh, isn't this amazing? Ta -da. So how did you like Suzuka Forest Garden? I think it's the best place in Japan for these two or three weeks in March. It's just really amazing. Not just the beauty here, but all of the work they put into it. This is really a place that you have to experience in person. So I hope you can all make it here. It's become a sensation on Japanese television and social media. And so I hope you can come and see it in person. Thanks for watching.